Hello and welcome. Here we are going to create an ATM like app where we can get the conce concept of how to withdraw, deposit, and check balance. Here we are starting with the balance, say 5000, and we, here we entered the amount 2000 and we say deposit, and the amount has been 2000. And if we say to withdraw 3000, 3, withdraw successfully, and check balance, the amount is 4000. So let's see how we can develop this. First of all, we will import the libraries that is tkinter for window and tkinter window message boxes. Then we will make the main window with the help of this line of code. If main is equal to main root.tk and atm app, app of root type, and we will set the main root. So this is the application we are starting. So first of all we will create a we will create a class of ATM app which we defined over here and we will set the ATM type. So let's see if it's run properly. Yes we have a window. So let's move forward. So what we will do next to we will these lines of code no. what we are doing here we are initializing the balance with 5000 and then we are creating a string label label of balance with text balance and self dot balance is the amount here we will show it let's run this and see we can have a balance yes balance is 5000 ok next we will create a label of enter amount like this label underscore count amount is the label with text enter amount see if it's run running fine Yes, it's okay. Okay, next. Create yeah. a input variable of enter amount. And we see if it runs. So we have a input box as well. Next, we will we are creating a button. Let's call withdraw. Type button with text withdraw, and we are uh, commenting out the command for the timing. So and that's if it's running ok we have a button filter as well and we will create a deposit button and a check button this line of code button deposit with command with text deposit and button with check balance so let's run this and see if it's fine yes we label text balance center amount of input type withdraw button deposit button and check balance button now let's define the functions Okay, first of all we will try we will create a withdraw function with this withdraw dot cell amount will be of that enter amount in the input box 
and if amount is less than zero, it will raise and message amount must be positive, less than zero. And if uh, sub dot balance greater than zero and greater than equal to amount, it will detect the balance and update that balance as well. Next line we will message box with the title success and the amount we are entering here so we can check this function just uncommenting this as we have defined this function here as well so let's run and see if it's working or not and the amount say 1000 and we say withdraw ok we have error we have to check this one update balance oh, we haven't defined yet the update balance we have to find that here we are defining the update balance and display balance <coughs> and we are updating the balance amount So let's see if it's updating or not. Enter amount is 1000 and we say withdraw. Okay, withdraw successfully 1000 amount. The amount has been updated. Same like this, we will do the deposit function. as we drop check the amount which entered and if it, if it is less than zero raise an error otherwise update the balance and add that amount to the balance and then display it let's see if it's running as well as not Let's say 3000 deposit. Okay, we haven't called this function, so we have to call this function here. Self dot deposit. Let's run this now. Let's see if it's depositing or not. Let's say 1000 deposit. Yes, successfully deposited 1000. Now, one more function for check balance. Just define it under the deposit before dead balance. See if it's working. So, we have to uncheck the command. And let's see if it's working on it. 2000 retro. We have 3000 check balance. 3000. And then we deposit if 500. Say deposit. Deposit successfully. Check balance. And the balance. So this is it. Thank you.